People woke up on January 19, 2010, that's nine years ago today, to an influx of media notifications surrounding an interview with the Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick in the February issue of Game Informer. Kotick's statements were bold, but honest, quote, our Spider-Man games have sucked for the last five years, end quote. By this point, Kotick had been CEO of Activision for nearly 19 years and scooped up Blizzard along the way. Even for nearly two decades of chief executive office-ing, these statements are not only unexpected, but flat out dangerous. This was unintentionally a call out to every single employee of the company who had a hand in games like Ultimate Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man Friend or Foe, and many more. This all goes without mentioning what this all has to say about him. When he points the fingers at the development teams, he also singles himself out because he's been in ultimate control of what he himself called, quote, bad games. They were poorly rated games because they were bad games, end quote. He added that, quote, it's about web slinging. If you don't do web slinging right, what is the fantasy of Spider-Man, end quote. Just a couple of months later, Activision revealed Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, their most recent Spider-Man project scheduled for release in September of that same year. It would go on to critically supersede just about all of the Spider-Man games Kodak had referenced as bad games, receiving as high as a 76 on Metacritic for the Xbox 360 version and an 8 out of 10 on IGN. To go along with his statements from earlier in the year, many publications such as IGN, Game Informer, and GameSpot cited the web-slinging as one of the game's strongest aspects. So what's the significance of this? In this time of controversy, uncertainty, and possibly impending doom in the face of Activision Blizzard, let's not forget what the company is all about. Later in his interview with Game Informer, Kodak referenced a meeting he had with a producer who predicted the game to receive an 80 out of 100 at the most, because, quote, it's a kid's game. You don't get the best ratings on a kid's game. I remember walking out of the meeting saying, why would we make an 80 rated game, end quote. This serves as such a great friendly reminder that despite the direction of Activision Blizzard recently, their CEO is about making good games. Am I a huge Activision Blizzard fan myself? Not at all. In fact, I've never been a diehard fan of any games published by Activision or Blizzard, with the small exception of the early Call of Duty games, but those don't count. However, I believe January 19th, 2010 shows us better than anything that the intentions are pure. Thanks so much for watching the first episode of Sick Critic's new Twitter series, This Day in Gaming History. Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are in today's history. Also, don't forget to visit sitcritic.com for your fill of gaming news, reviews, opinions, podcasts, and more. I'm Brandon Pirro. Thanks for joining us today.